Welcome back to more Alpha Sapphire, everybody. Okay, so last time I um did some stuff here in the Jagged Pass, but I feel like I didn't do everything completely. Um, let's just explore for the first couple minutes of this video to see if I did in fact miss anything. Okay, there's this down here. But like I was saying before, I'm pretty sure I missed something way up top because I saw an item up there and I'm not entirely sure how to maybe get up there, but let's take a look. Okay, so from this side... There's only one way to get up there, and that would be by doing this. Now let me see, uh... What I'm gonna do is actually use a repel here. I mean, I know it's kind of a waste doing this, but uh... I just wanna pretty much be encounter free while I'm doing this exploration here, you know? So let's take a look at this, okay. So I already fought all these people, okay, that's mock Bike. Um... I could do... Wait, what? Oh yeah, that's why I wasn't working, because as soon as I used it, I was like, what the hell? Cool, but I used another one. Oh, look at that. So that item can only be obtained with a mock bike. Unless you can... Fall? Oh, what the hell? I didn't fight this trainer? Oh, jeez. Okay, Camper Ethan, let's fight. You have a gold pin. That's going to be easy to one-shot with a mud shot, of course. Mud shot. Alright, let's do this. Much shot. Oh, I'm paralyzed. Oh, shit. Whatever, sludge. At least I can't get poisoned because I'm already paralyzed. Oh, shoot. Sometimes that's like the one good thing about like when you're in an ailment. You know, you're already in the status ailment and you're like, oh, at least I can't get hit with this ailment because I already have this ailment, you know? It's pretty funny. Okay. So hopefully that's the last trainer because my Swampert is paralyzed and I don't want to waste a damn berry or a potion because I'm freaking lazy as hell, as always. Okay. So let's see, I can- yeah, I can, okay. So I can grab this, it's a Max Ether, nice. Alright, now I can loop back around and I, I- like I keep saying, I need to go to the very top left corner. Okay, so I can't do anything there, so I gotta go this way. I'm going to assume I already fought these people, yes. Okay, so I fought you. It's impossible to traverse stairs, so I have to go this way. What? Oh, there we go. I was like, what the hell's happening? Damn, so much freaking climbing. Okay, I'm gonna do that. Well, let's see. In here, should I go up or left? Um. Oh, there it is. There's that freaking item. Are you kidding me? Dude, get... Am I stuck? Okay, I was stuck there for a second. I don't know why. Alright. Oh, look. Oh, my God. I used a super repel to get a super repel. Amazing trade-off, right? What a waste of time. Well, then again, that wasn't all I got, because I got another item. Alright, so I'm pretty sure with that I have obtained everything, right? In the Jagged Pass. I'm pretty sure I did. Yeah. I'm going to say yes. Alright, well... I guess I can just go all the way down now, because I'm pretty much done here. Uh, no. Sweet. Route 112, okay, so if I go that way, that's gonna lead to- it eventually just leads to an item. Wait. What the hell? Whoa, they actually changed that up. They made it possible to get the nugget and go back. That used to not be the case. If you jumped the first one, you were screwed. Huh. Okay. So at least I got that. I'm gonna go to the west side, and this right here is Lava Ridge Town. One of my favorite towns in, in any Pokemon game, just because, of, like, I just love how... Like, I don't know, it's... It's a very casual-like town, you know? And I love that so much, I really do. Casual, small, it looks nice and cozy, like, it's in the middle of the mountains, it looks really cool. I just, I love the feel to it, you know? I really do. Okay. Let's go ahead and heal up. And there we go. Um, I don't think these people will say anything important. The friendlier, yeah, that's true. What about you? Moo Moo Milk? Um, I'll take one. What? Never mind. That's a little bit expensive. Wait, actually, no, it's not. What am I talking about? 
Because doesn't that heal more than 50? Well, okay, I'm gonna take one. I want to see how much you actually, like, heal. 100 HP. That is really... What the heck? You know what? I'm going to take a dozen of these. Yep. Because here's the thing. Super potions are what? Aren't they 700? They're 700, yet they heal 50. That's pretty crazy. Okay, so did I just enter the woman's? Because I see pink. Like, I saw pink and then blue. Okay, I don't know what the hell that is. Wait, actually... There is something. Whoa, 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 whoa. Something here. Ice heal. Now, is there anything over there? I don't know. But yeah, okay, this whole thing looks like, like the color code. Like, you know, blue is male, pink is female. Is that what it means? Because I just went into the females one and nobody yelled at me. A bike? Okay, that's hilarious. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh my god. You've got to be kidding me, game. I feel like that was an overlooked thing. Like, like Nintendo didn't realize that, that they... Because, like, I assume that, like, the whole bicycle thing is by default, you can ride it anywhere, but then they have to put limitations in the game system to be like, hey, you can't ride it here. But it feels like they forgot that, to put, hey, you can't ride it here, you know? That just looks so funny. Oh my god. Okay, I think somebody gives you an item here. Chargoal, yep, I knew it. Okay, so these items here, they are fantastic deals, but they, um, make your Pokemon hate you or something. That's basically a max revive. That's a hyper potion, and you save 400. That's a super potion, and you save 200. And that is a full heal, and you save 150. So as you can see, you save a lot of money. As far as max revives, 2800, you might be thinking that's a lot. Well, honestly, Pokemon games don't even sell max revives. They sell revives, but not max revives. Alright. Here we go. This right here is the fourth gym of the game. Uh, I guess I'll take this one. Oh, it's pretty much the same concept as Gen 3. I'm just going to be pretty much fighting a bunch of trainers and shit. Alright, but hey, I mean, I know, I know for a fact I can actually fight the gym later in this video. Because I'm only at 8 minutes. I got 22 minutes left to pretty much clear out the gym and defeat Flannery herself. You know, I kind of wish that, um, that the Pokemon rosters for gym leaders were like Emerald. Because here's the thing, Pokemon Emerald is much harder than Ruby and Sapphire. Like, I know I keep saying that Gen 3 is the easiest, but when I keep saying Gen 3 is the easiest, I'm talking specifically about Ruby and Sapphire. I am not talking about Emerald, because Emerald, like I just said, is a fairly difficult game. The gym leaders actually have extremely buffed up rosters, and it could be fairly problematic. And, I don't know, I mean, even the, well, the Elite Four, I don't know, but, I mean, the champion battle is debatable on who's easier. I would actually maybe say that Wallace is easier, but, uh, I don't know, because Steven himself is, well, I'm not sure. I mean, one of the hardest champions is actually Cynthia, in my opinion. Where the hell did you come from? But yeah, Cynthia from Gen 4, she's freaking hard. Like, I struggle so much with her. Spiritomb, Garchomp, oh my god, I think she had like one really easy one, I think Gastrodon was really easy to get a grasp, but man, in general, it was pretty freaking difficult, okay, I'm gonna use, um, I don't think Water Gun will kill you, I'm gonna use Muddy Water, and of course you miss, of course you, Clear Smog, ooh, that's a pretty interesting move there, if it has 100% accuracy at least, it disables all stat changes? That's like a better foresight. Damn. Okay, so I killed you. Or beat you, whatever. I don't know where the hell I'm going, people. I have no idea. The gym looks a little bit revamped. 
in this version that does look a little bit different. What are you doing? What are you doing? He was just like running away. I mean, right now I'm not even trying to solve the puzzle really. I'm just trying to beat all the gym trainers first, you know? Because there's just too many of them. Also, wait a minute. Why was I fighting a coughing? I just realized that. What, what the hell? Why was I fighting a damn coughing? Alright, slug me down. Super easy stuff. Alright, next one. Next battle. I must talk to you. Okay, I'll battle with you. Sure, let's battle. Battle? I keep saying that too much in this LP. Oh my god. Me Meditite. Okay. I mean, sure, whatever. Let's fight. Alright, let's go and do a much shot. This should be enough to kill. Yep. That's why I use Mud Shot and not Water Gun, because Water Gun is 15 power weaker, as you already know. And Battle Girl is down. Just like that. Okay, let's just take this one for now. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. I'm just exploring everywhere for, you know, battles and shit. Oh, you. Another freaking ninja, huh? Well, fine. Well, fine. And everybody has one Pokemon. They have only one. Oh my god. Okay, so use Muddy Water, but don't miss. I don't want to waste too much PP. As you can see, Muddy Water only has 10 PP, which I find very strange, because Surf has more. Yet in terms of stats, power, and accuracy, Surf beats it. Like, is the accuracy lowering really that amazing? I don't know. <laughs> to be worth losing 5 PP? And having less strength and accuracy? I don't know. I'm just saying that once I get Surf, I'm replacing Muddy Water. Or, well, that or Water, then I don't know. Is that an Ace Trainer? It looks like an Ace Trainer. Yes, it is. Like I said, Ace Trainers are easily the toughest normal trainers in the game. They usually have much more buffed up rosters. There's some exceptions, but... Mm, like, for example, right now I'm like, what the hell is Slugma? I would assume you have a better Fire Tap or a Macargo, maybe, you know? Kecleon. Okay, that's interesting. So, what I'm gonna do, because Kecleon has a very shitty ability, actually, you can easily abuse it. Uh, what I'm gonna do is use Mudshot first. Basically, whenever you hit it with a move, Kecleon transforms into that type. See? As you can see, now it's a ground type. Now that it's a ground type, guess what? I can use Water Gun and do double damage. You can easily just take advantage of it, you know? In that situation. And there we go. And I have reached level 40. Oh my god. Man, this starter only run is so freaking fun. <laughs> the only thing is, though, I'm pretty sure in the future I'm never going to do this anymore. Like in any other Pokemon LPs. Because, like, as fun as it is to see it once, if I keep doing the same thing over and over again for, like, every Pokemon LP, it would get so boring for all of you guys and you wouldn't want to watch it anymore. Which is why, even though I'm technically doing a starter only run, at least until I get a Legendary or something, um, I will tell you right now that this will be the only time I actually do a starter only run. Because, like I just said, pretty sure you guys would not want to see that anymore in the future. Actually, okay, if you are watching this, leave a comment and be like, hey, would you want to see any future starter only runs? I'm going to assume it's going to be mostly no. Because seeing it one time is already going to get boring enough by the time the LP is almost over, right? One thing I really do want to do, though, is a Nuzlocke. A Nuzlocke run. Nuzlocke looks really cool. But, we'll see. We will for sure see. What the hell? I already reached you? Well, you know what? I'm not going to go back and heal. Screw it. I'm just going to fight you right now. I'm already here. Also, I may have missed a trainer or something. Maybe. Alright, Flannery. The hottest gym leader. That's a pun. Double meaning there. Whoa, 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 what the hell? No, wait, I mean, puny trainer, you've done well to make it this far. Let's see, I'm, uh, honored to be serving as the gym leader of... No, I mean, I'm Flannery, and I'm in charge here. 
Uh, you better not underestimate me just because I've only been leader a short time. With the skills inherited from my grandfather, I'm gonna, uh, demonstrate the hot moves we've owned in this land. Oh my god. She seems very hesitant, doesn't she? Well, yeah, she just became gym leader. Flannery. Like I was saying. Um, as a kid I was always like, Flannery is the hottest gym leader in Hoenn, and one of the hottest in all of Pokemon. It's funny, because I had a, I had a comment. A couple videos ago, actually a number of videos ago, saying that Roxanne was the sexiest. <laughs> I was like, oh my god, what the hell? Alright, so... I'm gonna use Mudshot. I feel like Water Gun... Well, no, Water Gun would still kill it, though. It's only a slug I mean, seriously. Here's a Numble. Oh, what the hell? You do actually have a roster change. She used to have two Slugma, at least in... Um, Ruby and Sapphire, because see, in Emerald, she had a Slugma, Nummel, I think a Camerupt, and a Torkoal. See, that's a much better, that's a much better roster. And usually you just had Slugma, Slugma, Torkoal, or in this case, Slugma, Nummel, Torkoal. Here's Torkoal, I'm gonna try to one-shot you with Muddy Water. Shit. Okay, what? Okay. They offset, they both freaking... Oh my... Okay, at least it only improves your defense, right? Attack and defense, I mean. Yeah, okay, that's fine. That's not gonna limit the damage. Okay, you better connect, dude. Muddy water. Will this be a one-shot kill? Yep. And there we go. No grinding whatsoever, and I'm still this freaking far. Into owning everybody. And I think my Marsh Tom Slash will okay, now to Swampert. What the hell am I talking about? My Swampert has only died, I think, like, what, twice or something? And they've both been to freaking Times 4 Grass Moves or something. That right there is the Heat Badge. Yep. If you have a Heat Badge, all Pokemon up to level 50, even those you get in trades from other people, will obey you completely. I can use Strain outside of battle, too. Very nice. And I also got Overheat. Overheat is a pretty interesting move. It's not... Well, I mean, I'm not going to say it's terrible. It's just because I know people prefer Flare Blitz or Fire Blast or... Uh, what's that move that only starters can do? I think Blast Burn or something? People prefer those over Overheat. It's kind of like... um. What is that move? No, it's not Draco Meteor, is it? No, no. Draco Meteor is a really powerful one, but then there's Roar of Time. Roar of Time? No, no, no. Roar of Time is like Blast Burn. What the hell am I talking about? Okay. And you beat them? Yep, I beat them. <laughs> oh, that's right. Here. Here, I've been thinking of giving this to you. Shiny obtained the Go Goggles. Sweet. The Go Goggles. Yep. It is. Headed to Petalburg Gym next. Um. God damn. No, actually, no. I don't want to go there yet. Normally, I would say yes, but the thing is, there's still some stuff to do. Uh, no. I mean, it's cool that you get warp still, because that wasn't the case in, um, Gen 3. But the reason why I don't want to go back yet is because there's a couple things I want to do still. For one, I learned Strength and I got the Go Goggles, and I also want to go back to Meteor Falls and further explore that place, because I never actually completely finished. I mean, Meteor Falls is essentially the way to get back, the easiest way, you know, into Petalburg if you couldn't warp, which happened in Gen 3. Um, for now, though, let's see, because I want to do... I'm trying to think here, what else? okay. You know what, first, let's actually go ahead and teach Strength. Okay, strength. No, that's Volt Switch. What the hell? 70 power? I thought it was 60 for some reason. Okay. Okay. No, 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 not you. What am I doing? Wait. Zigzagoon can't learn strength? Are you fucking kidding me? Oh my god. I mean, sh should I actually teach strength, though? To my Marsh Tom. Why do I keep saying Marsh Tom? It's a freaking Swamper. Oh my god. Okay, who else can learn strength here, though? I don't know. Oh, but I know who can learn strength. Are you kidding me? It's Makuhita. Seriously. Wait. Oh, no, I left a Makuhita over there. I'm, a, I'm an idiot. What about you? Can you learn strength? Maybe. 
I'm such an idiot. My Kuhita stole the freaking daycare shit. To the west of Marvel. God damn it. Okay, can you learn? Yes, you can. Okay, at least you can learn strength. So he couldn't Zigzag learn strength in Gen 3? Maybe he got nerfed because he was too much of an HM slave, apparently. It's like he learned Cut, Rock Smash, Surf, Strength. It'd be funny if he can't learn Surf. I mean, I'm, I'm teaching it to Swampert anyway, but I'm just saying, you know? It'd be funny. Alright, so he learned Strength, dude. I'm going to go ahead and... Oh, I should have bought some Super Repels because now I'm... Oh, no. Wait, where am I going next, though? Because I have to get this, and then I have to, um... Oh, yeah. You know what? It's actually fine if I do this right now. I have four super repels left. And I think that's good enough for now. It should be. Okay, all I need to do is go over here and push some... What the hell? Yep. Secret spot. Okay. Nature power. That's a TM now? I didn't know that. That's cool. Yes, it actually does have an awesome name. I will give you points for that. Okay. Secret base skill and forgery, as you keep saying. I will visit there eventually once I have my fifth badge, dude. Yes. Okay. Strength it. Here we go. Strength. Oh, wait, what? And there we go. Alright, so let's see. Um. Wait. There's only one way to go? Shit! Okay, well, I can only push the boulder this way. Oh, God, this is so boring, isn't it? Alright, look, so I gotta be careful. Um. Don't wanna push. Wait, I can't fit. I can't fit. Okay, what the hell am I doing? Uh... Don't go too fast. What the hell is this? This is all really weird. Okay, here's an item. But I think one thing I'm gonna check really fast... Is using the item finder because I don't know if there will be something here. There might actually be, you never know. Okay, there's not. There's totally not. Um, yes, actually. Huh. That's the spot right there. TM6 Toxic. Oh, sweet. Okay, well, I'm all done here. That was all there was in this place, and that's pretty much how it was in Gen 3 as well. Alright, let's go. The thing is, I need to buy more Super Repels, because I'm going to um, go into more... Terrain with, um, you know, wild encounters and shit. And that ain't good. That is not good. The Go Goggles. Okay. What I'm gonna do is do this. Let's start from the top. So I think in here, the dark colored things have encounters. What the hell? Where are the fossils? Oh, these are it? Yeah. Um, I'm gonna take... I'll take the Claw Fossil. I've always liked Armaldo better, even though I believe Cradle is actually a better Pokemon. You know, like, it always said, taking one will make the other one sink into the sand. I was like, why can't you just grab them at the same time? Use one hand for each. Unless they were that heavy, then okay, I guess, but... Whatever. Uh... What the hell? Oh, revive. Okay. That's cool. Rare candy! Lots of pretty good items over here, huh? Are there no trainers here? I haven't seen any- oh, never mind. Wait. Shiny obtained safety goggles. What? 
What the hell is that? Wait, I, dude, wrong, wrong one. Wrong menu. Okay, are you kidding me? What? Why is it? These goggles protect the holder from both weather-related damage and powder. What does powder mean? Like what, powder snow? That one powder move of Pokemon? I don't freaking know. Item? TM37 Sandstorm. That's amazing. Okay, so this right here is where you obtain Reggie Rock, I believe. Or is it Reggie Steel? I don't know, one or the other. Is this a trainer? Yes, it is. Let's see if this guy's a Sand Slash, because I think he had a Sand Slash in Gen 3. I distinctly remember this guy. Okay, that's not the guy. Never mind, it's somebody else. <laughs> okay, it looks like this guy. It's one of these, um, like, guys with a magnifying glass, you know? Alright, so these guys, Bell Toys are Psychic Ground type, which means that water works. They do have pretty high special defense, though, I will say that. And they can be fairly problematic. Oh wait, you do have a sand slash. Okay, so I was right. Um, their special defense is pretty low. They have pretty good defense, which means that Watergun should be able to one-shot this guy. Yep. That's the evolution of Sand Shrew, in case you didn't know. Like I was saying, he's a pretty cool looking Pokemon. It's just too bad he doesn't have amazing stats. I wish he had a third evolution, though. I really wish that that was the case. Stardust. Sweet. Okay. Here's another trainer. And uh, my item finder just detected another item real close to me. Picnicker Becky. Cacnea. Okay, that's a grass type. So... This could be bad. Not really, I mean, you resist both, but I can use Rock Slide. Are you freaking kidding me? Okay, at least you use Payback and not like Mega Drain or some shit, you know? Also, one thing I didn't mention, Sandstorms do actually hit both Pokemon every single turn. Unless they are rock, steel, or ground types. They're immune to sandstorms. Swampert is a part ground. The other exception is if it has an ability that's like Cacnea's, which I actually forgot what the hell it's called. But it's a move that like boosts evasion in sandstorms, and that ability also grants immunity to sandstorms. Okay, let me, let me make sure I didn't miss anything. Oh. What? There we go. PP up. Oh, sweet. You. I must talk to you, damn it. Get the hell over here. You're jealous of my go goggles. Oh my god. They're just go goggles, dude. They're just freaking goggles. Camper Drew sent out Graveler. That's gonna be a one shot as well. Alright. Squall. Go ahead and water gun that damn thing. And you're dead. Oh, you and your damn sturdies. I swear, man, if you use, like, explosion, I'm gonna be so pissed. But you didn't do it that time, good. Speed fell. Damn. Ha, oh, you're dead. You're about to be level 41. Okay. Um, let's see here. I mean, I've done most of the stuff here already in this freaking place. There's not much left to do. Okay, that's the next exit, I believe. So I can just go this way. And there's also pretty much no items left to obtain. Like, I don't see any more from the item finder. Yeah, so I started there. I can just take this pathway. And this will lead me to the other exit. Camper Cliff. Sand Slash. I just want to finish up this um, sandstorm place, this desert, before I end the video, you know? Uh, 
And I guess one thing I'll do off screen is buy a bunch of super repels or something. Like a lot of them. Because I really don't want them. I mean, really? Why did I say that? Sorry, I'm like half confused right now. I do want them, is what I was trying to- What the hell was I trying to say right there in that sentence? I don't know. I do not know. Alright, I believe this will be the last battle. I think I beat everybody else here in the sandstorm. Picnicker Heidi. Another sand slash, really. It's cool that they're making the rosters tougher because the, all these people have sand shrews, I think, in Gen 3. Not sand slash. Bam! You're dead. Ha! Take that. Sorry about those sounds, people. Um, my family's actually doing some work in the living room, like they're nailing stuff, you know? Like portraits and picture frames. So you can kind of hear that a little bit. Okay, so I beat you, right? Yes, I did. And I believe with that, that is it. Nothing over there. Nothing over there. Yep, we're out. Back into Marvel. Alright, so what I'm gonna do is uh, end the video here. So next time, I'm actually gonna go ahead and meet all of you, I think, all the way in, um... What was that place called? Fall Arbor? Pretty much right where, uh... Meteor Falls is, because I didn't fully explore that place, and I do want to. Because there's stuff that I missed there. So yeah. But I'm also gonna be buying some uh, repels in between parts. So if you enjoyed this episode in any way, Please be sure to leave a like, I would appreciate that very much, thank you, and I will see you all next time. Bye bye everyone.